Good morning everyone. I'm Lekha, but before we start, I have a fun question for you. Can machines really predict the future? Like can they guess your marks before exam or your mood before Monday morning? Okay. Well, today I'm going to show you how through something called suspense, the topic is suspense which you are going to find out by yourself and you are going to tell the topic to me. The art of teaching machines to predict the future. And here I have a fun game for you, a quick game. Here you can see three students Lekya, Kavya, Varshni and their mark and the, the number of hours they studied and the marks they got. So if I ask you, can, if Navya studies for four hours, can you predict her marks? Anyone? There is a pattern, you can understand the pattern and you have to predict if Navya studies for four hours, how many? 80. Perfect. Cool guesses guys. But what if I can tell you? A simple mathematical model can do all this prediction and can predict the marks more accurately than we can. That is possible through, anyone knows the topic name? Huh? No. It's a, it's a chapter, of, uh, it's a topic from fifth model. I kept the title as suspense because I want you to guess. Can anyone guess the topic? Okay, whoever guesses, I'm going to give you a little goodie afterwards. No. Who is going to guess it? I'm really going to give you a candy. No one? <laughs> See, uh, th th these are the hours they studied. And you have uh, to identified the pattern and told that the marks will be 80 if he studied for 4 hours. So, what topic is it? Regression. Perfect. Let's clap for her. The topic is regression and we are going to look more into it. But what is even regression? The, the power of regression in artificial intelligence, that is my topic, not suspense. So, what is regression? Regression is just this perfect line that passes through data points, the one, the best one that represents the relationship. Mathematically, it is called, uh, it is identified as y is equal to mx plus c, where x is the input and y is what you want to predict. Let's see if you can guess this one. See, uh, does this, is this the best fit line for this scattered marks? Is this, if you think this is the best fitted line, say yes. Or if you don't think this is the best fit line, say no. You are going to say for each and every one, okay? Is this the one? Yes? No. This? Huh? Louder. This? 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 So yes. Uh, this is what we are talking about. The best fit model where it passes through all the data points. What is even an ANN model without a ANN PPT without a model? Let's check how this is it put into practicality, how it works in the practicality, so that we'll see how it actually works. That actually tries to fit it. Behind the regression, what it does is that it tries to reduce the errors and then it fits the line to fit the scatter points. Is it visible to you? Meet my cute little regressor, cute little bot, Reggie the regressor. So first he, he looks at hundreds of people's study hours and their marks and slowly he starts learning a pattern. After he learns the pattern, he can predict your marks too. First it learns the pattern and then it adjusts its, uh, itself to your data and then it predicts your marks. So let's see how it does. In a model, uh, let me show you uh, another model which can predict marks. See, here you can see 
are uh, reggae the regressor if you want to stop you can just type top here we can see a uh, number of hours you studied and it, if you give the input it will predict your marks who is going to go first i want i need a volunteer who is going to go first anyone it's just simple you have to tell how many hours you studied and our reggae the regressor guesses your marks anyone has anyone ever studied yes sir <laughs> so so that is what we are knowing sir does anyone study if you do raise your hand nobody studies yeah how many hours do you study how many hours four so our regi the regressor thinks that if you study for four hours you will score 39 40 but let me ask you is this true why ha huh? okay let me uh, redirect you is this the only factor that affects your marks the number of hours you studied only is that the factor affects your marks okay what does what affects your marks what other features affect your marks tell me come on you got to tell me concentration another one yeah that's a perfect one efficiency and ha huh? distractions perfect and your other things like amount of syllabus covered your attendance and your sleep hours all this uh, result in the number of marks you get so why do we only take the linear model that is where polynomial regression comes in it not only considers one input but it considers so many more other factors to predict the outputs uh, let's see that one too yeah attendance also so you can see here our model learns this here you can see the sample data the number of hours studied sleep hours internet usage attendance stress level and these all result in our final marks and here's just another sample data if you study for this time sleep and it intercepts your marks now who is going to go for this one anyone who is going to give me the input number of hours you studied we are going to do the same for you so you we can predict your marks half an hour how do i use? i'll take it one hour sleepers how many hours two hours 13 uh, internet usage two hours oh attendance your stress level <laughs> oh we'll take 10 so it predicts that you will get 39 marks out of 100 based on all the factors you give and this is your actual versus predicted marks scatter plot feel free to so now let's play a game another one here you have seen my bot reggie the regressor now i am going to challenge you against my bot i am going to give you some data points and you have to guess the marks and then we'll see it against our regressor the first one if you study it for 2.5 hours how many marks do you think you'll get okay for 5 hours for 6.5 hours yeah okay we'll take it as uh, yours as correct okay but what happens behind the content what happens under the hood as we have discussed be discussed before the first one is it takes the input and then it gives the output but uh, where it collects the data from which we have given and it tries to fit the line how does it adjust first it just gets us a random point random uh, line and then it checks the error what is the difference between the actual one and the predicted one after guessing the error it tries to reduce the error 
and this error is called as loss function and how it tries to reduce this error is called gradient descent how it tries to reduce suppose you have a ball and you have dropped it from the top of a mountain what does it do it tries to reach down it tries to reach the steepest point that is what our gradient descent does to when you uh, took from random measures it tries to reach the lowest part of the cost function which reduces the cost completely and then uh, it's not just math regression is everywhere your instagram can predict the number of likes you get based on the number of posts you do and spotify tries to guess your next favorite song whether app predicts whether tomorrow rain is there or not and google maps predicts in how much time it will take for you to arrive to your particular destination and hospitals predicts how much time it takes for a patient to recover based on the past data okay neural networks is not just a simple one it's the humble oh, sorry a simple regression is not just simple it's the humble ancestor of neural networks when you give more layers more data more complexity it can turn into a neural network uh, let's see how See, this is how linear regression goes to polynomial regression, where it it bends according to the degree, and with neural network, it completely learns the pattern. So, our simple regression is not at all simple. It's the pathway and the foundation for the deep learning. Let's test how much you have learned. Now you have learned so much, and I'm going to test you. how many how much you have learned from this i have a very simple thing for each and every one of you to do uh you got to scan that code each and every one i'll get your names everyone has to scan that code not present a uh, tejas do you get network okay so okay uh, everybody has to scan it i will know everyone each and every one scan that one and we'll get your names too uh, uh, there is a surprise for winner also Everyone scanned. Anyone remaining? Only one pay, player is ready. No, everybody got to scan that. There is time. Nobody gets the correct one. It's okay. We'll learn. Where do we use it often? Type your answers. Where do we use it often? Regression. Where do we use it often? Type your answers. We'll see here. prediction search model in physics perfect so for prediction models another one with prediction another one with prediction in predicting the path to search modeling alexa maths division of data yes perfect you all have learned it very perfectly so okay i guess you have understood who is the winner here in the first one 
and then this is in the second one nobody got every answer correct so that's all about it let's end this with something beautiful see regression is not just for machines we humans are regression models too when we uh, whenever we think about what dress to wear what to eat or how much time to study we all are working as regression models we are predicting our future based on our past experiences so uh, regression is not just for machines too we are also a regression models and thank you for joining me on this prediction journey i hope next time whenever you see a recommendation or forecast you'll remember that regression is the silent uh, one who is doing all this work behind the screens thank you